I've seen your face before and I can't help but wonder how I let you slip right out of my hands. From one sunset to the next, things can change drastically. Somehow, in just a day, Two people from very different parts of my past had gone from nervously sizing each other up to comparing horror stories about their first period. What a difference a day in a few splashes of whiskey makes. Not as bad as yours, but I definitely had some carry flashbacks. <laughs> okay, weirdest person you went to high school with? Oh, you mean besides the least? <laughs> No, seriously, our high school was Freak Central. Yeah, I don't even know where to start. Oh, do you remember Dicky Lento? Yes. What did they call him? Abe? Um, Froman. The, the Sausage, Sausage King. King. <laughs> oh, God. It's a Ferris Bueller reference. Oh, did he look like him? No, he had a huge cock. <laughs> <laughs> oh. He was always getting kicked out of school for indecent exposure. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what are we making of that guy? He is the mayor of Gillespie. Come on. Mm. I am dead serious. Mm. How did that happen? <laughs> mm. <laughs> Who let that happen? Okay, I went to high school with this girl. She was probably six feet tall, permatanned, cheekbones for days. She was real thin and still somehow managed to have tits like rockets. I had gym class with her all four years. It was a fucking nightmare. Obviously, she was super popular and super smart. Obviously. <sighs> the worst part about it, though, was her name. Holly Woods. Bullshit. <laughs> no, I swear it's true. It's like her parents knew she was going to grow up to be impossibly gorgeous. She took the longest to change, and she never closed a shower curtain. I guess I might have been the same way if I was Holly fucking Woods. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. To Holly Woods, may she die ugly and alone. Whoa. Here, here. Mm -hmm. Make no mistake. This isn't a song for you. Just a collection of words to write before I fall asleep. The choices I make are all I'm afraid to lose. Try to forget the empty promises I keep. Hi, Daryl. In Paris. Daryl, it's your sister calling. I haven't heard from you in a few days. Just wanted to see how you're doing. I don't know why you can't just get a cell phone. I hate this thing. Anyway, call me back, okay? Bye. That I trusted you. It's that I put my fragile heart into your hand. And there you were, a rebel inside yourself. A shadow of loss, a sight in the light that I can't stand.
Yeah, the station looks pretty close. Then you sure you have a place to go? Yeah, a relative. I'm not gonna tell you any more than that. I'm just gonna take my bag to the car. I've just gotta get my shoes on. Okay. Looking back, we know it wasn't. I'm sorry. You were just another touch to feel. You were just another. You don't have to say it anymore. I just want you to be happy and safe. I just can't be a part of it. No, no. You were just another kiss to steal. To me, you were just another kiss to steal. Guys!